speaking practice with me speaking this method is called as the shadowing technique and in this technique i will help you to develop your pronunciation develop your vocabulary and your sentences also this is a three step technique first read loud second vocabulary and third is shadow it wait storytelling is one of the best ways to develop your english and i use this technique with my online students it's really powerful and understand i mean we are brought up we are wired listening stories we love stories and if you can use stories to develop your english oh my god tremendous results i have seen mind boggling results i have seen and the same thing will happen with you also i'm going to give you a story a actually real life story from my life and you also have to first step say it loudly follow my voice number 2 understand the vocabulary used and number 3 shadow it what is that i'll tell you the name of my story is what a coincidence what a coincidence this happened couple of days before before shooting this video i went to my bank to submit my kyc documents to my manager so i went i knocked the door and i peeped inside and i asked may i come in the manager promptly replied yes please come in i said i have to submit my kyc documents without looking at me he just extended his hand and asked for the documents so when i submitted my aadhar card he took it well after reading my name carefully and staring at my photo he jerked his neck and said to me sandy how are you i stared back and i recognized him he was my engineering buddy my batchmate avinash his name was the first question he threw at me was how are you and what do you do nowadays i quipped unemployed after giving a quizzical look he said stop joking i'm serious then i promptly replied i'm a communication and confidence coach i have my youtube channel and i have around half a million subscribers he was flabbergasted he said what a shy introvert low in confidence student like you has become a confidence coach i can't trust i said just open your mobile phone and search dr sandeep patel and he did that and then i saw his face beaming with smile after uh, overcoming from that acute nostalgia we sipped some coffee and indulged into some inquiry about old friends who is what and what they're doing well after exchanging pleasantries we said goodbye to each other but what a coincidence i never expected my friend my batchmate my benchmate to be my bank manager from now onwards i don't have any problem in my bank how was the story it was real story that happened with me now what you have to do is the subtitles which you have seen here you have to say them loudly say them loudly and second step is understand the vocabulary used understand which words are used for example let me explain you some vocabulary peeped inside means to look quickly from the opening of a door that is peeped inside jerked means what see how we, how i use this word jerked his neck means what like giving a jerk to his neck and looking at me he looked at me quickly and very surprisingly jerked at me staring i think all of you know stare means just to look continuously at something so he was staring at my photo i i use the word i quipped i quipped means to uh, just pass some witty comments that is to quip means in short like to crack a, a like a joke something that is to quip q u i p p e d quipped then i said he gave me a quizzical look quizzical look means some kind of doubt quiz like question marks on his face quizzical look flabbergasted means surprised as well as shocked also that is flabbergasted he was flabbergasted to know that i have my youtube channel a guy who was so shy introvert and low in confidence it's a fact actually i used one word sipped some coffee sipped means to have some coffee to sip the coffee okay to have the coffee we make that sipping sound no? sip some coffee indulged indulged means to get into to enjoy that that is to enjoy indulged like for example i love to indulge in uh, uh, uh in my in having a hot cup of tea when it's raining 
I love to indulge in that, love to have, love to get into this, indulged. The word I used was acute. Acute means quick, spontaneous. Another word was nostalgia. Nostalgia means going back into fond memories which you had in the past. That is nostalgia. Okay, acute nostalgia. I used exchanging pleasantry means after just saying goodbye, that is exchanging pleasantries. Uh, funny comments and saying that goodbye, that is exchanging pleasantries. To pleasantly exchange some good thoughts and ideas. Pleasantries. Okay, now, now it's your time. Now, shadowing technique. <sighs> Follow my voice loudly. Follow my voice loudly. Now the audio will start. Okay, follow the voice. I have to submit my Kiawati documents. Sandy, how are you? And what do you do nowadays? Unemployed. Stop joking. I'm serious. I'm a communication and confidence coach. I have my YouTube channel and I have around half a million subscribers. What? A shy, introvert, low in confidence student like you has become a confidence coach? I can't trust. Just open your mobile phone and search Dr. Sandeep Patil.